What's going on guys? So, um, the purpose of me making this video is I guess to express, in my opinion, um, a reasonable common sense um, solution um, to, I guess, kind of organize or to get um, a better grasp on the problem in our country, which is um, immigration and illegal immigration particularly, right? And when I say common sense is that the only thing like so on one end we have um, on the left you could say that you have a um, an inability to differentiate between those who come in here those who come to America legally and those who come into this country unauthorized or illegal right um, and then on the other side you have people who don't believe that immigration is a positive thing in our country and I could tell you straight up that my grandparents on my father's side both emigrated from Cuba in the 1950s before Castro um, to come to America and to make um, life better for their family. And, you know, so I understand and I do appreciate immigrants. Um, people in my medical school class are immigrants. Like people, there's a lot, like immigrants could be, um, like immigrants have the same, a lot of immigrants have the same type of morals, values, and work ethic and some have more than some Americans because they made that choice to come to America to, to make their lives better but most of them if not all of them that I'm referring to have come through the, the complicated and lengthy process of legal immigration so that's you know I have to give that precursor because I don't come from the mindset that we have to stop all immigration in, in general but um, let's establish one thing for the first thing is that um, when people say that, they go, well, um, uh, a, a large percentage of people um, that are here illegally are overstanding visas, are overstanding, you know, they're, they're, they're coming on a flight, their vacation visa, work visa, and they just stay over. And then they, um, you know, in other words, they're not coming from the southern border. Um, I understand that. Well, a large percentage, sure. But people don't realize that it's not most, it, about 60%, right? And this is on any statistic, you can look this up, and all the statistics I'm gonna use are factually correct. Um, I don't just make up numbers, uh, these are factually correct. 60% do come from the southern border, which is um, about 50% are of Mexican American origin, and the other 10% make up of various uh, South American countries. So 60% of Americans, uh, of illegal immigrants, do still come from the southern border, right? Um, now, when they talk about illegal immigration um, has gone down recently, or in, or in, and under the Obama years and, and whatever, um, that's the net increase. Um, obviously, the numbers increase, and especially um, when I'm gonna get to my solution, um, because of having a child in the United States increases the population, et cetera, et cetera, right? So I'm gonna to get to my solution soon, um, but I'm gonna to get to some things that I don't wanna see happen, right? Um, I don't think that the United States should break up families and deport people, mass deportations. There's gonna be a lot of civil unrest, and I don't find it moral and ethical to, to take that route, right? Now, Obama has the, the Obama, these, this, the, the savior, of all mankind, the, the, the great Obama, he deported more people than any president in the United States history, right? And I don't think anybody really criticized that other than a few people. I just wanna say some facts, right? Um, Trump hasn't really deported that many people. Um, I don't defend Trump on a lot of issues, um, but for example, the wall, um, my biggest issue with the wall is that I don't know if it's financially advantageous to, to make, but to assume that it's racist and that it says anything other than to have a symbol of secure borders. I, I just don't understand that, right? So, I mean, if you come through legally, why, why, would, why would it matter if you had a, a border or a wall? The only argument I against it is a financial obligation. Symbol, sim, uh, symbolically, there are plenty of countries that have borders. Um, you know, plenty of countries have border. India, Pakistan, um, is, is one of them, for example, um, you know, there's, there's a clear cut and border, um, you know, um, there's a bunch of other on the top of my head, but that's, but that's one, uh, I can think of on the top of my head that has a very, 
um, strict border in which nobody gets in there illegally. And of course, there's a the problem of drug trafficking and and, and um, other things, human trafficking. And and it's really not a great thing. Um, I understand these people are in disparity, um, and a lot of these people, um, they don't have any other means to come through. But it's not a good mesh. It, it's there are good people and there are bad people that are come of our illegally, but we don't know who is coming through if they're coming through illegally, right? It's just, it's, it's inarguable that it's, it's not a good thing that people are crossing the border, whether to um, come into the United States or to come out of the United States. There has to be a better process in, in how that occurs, right? So, um, yes, having said that, the biggest problem with illegal immigration is 100% in my opinion, right, is the quote unquote anchor baby policy, right? In other words, um, how it was or how it was established is, um, I guess the term, I guess the term that 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 I that I that I'll use, and I could define it, I guess, for, um, you know, um, the people listening is just so lie, which it's a Latin word, which means right of soil. And that's the interpretation of the 14th Amendment, which was implemented after, right, after the 13th Amendment. And everybody knows the 13th Amendment, um, that no man should be a slave in the United States. Um, that's one that everybody knows, you know, the, everybody knows the first, the second, and the 13th Amendment. Like, you don't have to be a law uh, or, or constitutional scholar to know that. So the 14th Amendment was implemented, and it was implemented correctly because you have to understand the context of its implementation. Um, there was not necessarily, and of course there was not, um, great records of all the people that were in bondage and slavery um, in, in the, um, underneath the Confederate Confederacy. So they essentially, especially the people that were recently freed, um, the United States didn't want to be, um, didn't want to be in, in, the, in the, I guess, in the business of having to vet who's like, who was here, who was not here, um, so, um, you know, their, their family members. So to be fair and to be humane, obviously, um, they were allowing the, the child, children of slaves. And, um, and also this is additionally to the Native Americans, who again, we didn't implement as well, um, that they were not going to be deported or separated or sent away. So the implementation when it was occurred, the 14th Amendment, it made total sense why it was implemented, right? I mean, it, it, like, in other words, like, they didn't want to say, oh, like, now you're, um, you know, you're finally free, but like, then immediately say, who are you? We don't know who you are. Um, you have no right to be in this country. Um, we're deporting you or whatever. So yes, when it was implemented in the 1860s, right? Um, it was, it made sense. Now times have changed, right? Times have definitely changed because the number one problem, um, what it, which comes down to, to, to I think is the messiest thing in immigration is the whole anchor baby policy. Now, it's interesting, and I have to note that, yes, Canada has a very similar policy, but I'll tell you some countries that don't have a very similar policy, and that includes um, the UK. The UK does not know, the UK um, has no um, just soli um, policy, right? They ended that in, um, I don't know exactly what, what year. Or actually, no, no, hold on, I'm not, um, Yes, they ended up in, in 1983. Um, Ireland ended it in 2004, and Australia ended it in the 80s as well. So those are three countries, right, that I'm naming that don't have a just soli um, a policy. Now, because here's the problem: that if a two, United States cannot deport citizens, right? So in other words, um, if I come over illegally with my wife or my whoever and have a child and I'm not documented, but then my child is documented, it, it really is impossible then to deport me who I came to this country illegally, right? I came to this country illegally because my child is US citizen. And what is a child gonna become an orphan? You know what I mean? And I find that inhumane because I don't think children should grow up without their parents. But having said that, this anchor baby policy has to stop because of that right? Like we would be less conflicted with breaking up families if that policy didn't exist, right? Now, my whole thing is they go, well, these people are, they're, 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 they come here for economic refuge, typically, right? Um, they go, what, well, why, um, 
don't den how can you deny them the opportunity to succeed now i want to say first and foremost that the number one like i guess um opening a helping hand and having opportunities should first and foremostly be um the, the responsibility of the united states uh, government is to first firstly take care of uh our citizens that doesn't mean that you can't be um open like i'm pretty sure that the united states still gives more um federal aid not federal aid um international aid to more countries than it, um you know the amount of money than any country in the world despite um us being the um cruelest country uh, in, the, in the history of civilization to a lot of people right um yes there's problems in the united states history i don't need to go back to left and right it's this good and bad things etc cetera, etc cetera, right but just because you have a geographical um, advantageous position being in Mexico, why do you have more of a right to come to America than someone that lives in Myanmar, that someone that lives in Zimbabwe, that someone that lives in um, Tibet, um, that someone that lives in the Philippines? I, I don't think I don't think just because you sit geographically advantageous that you should have any more of a right. And that also limits, right, the amount of like, it also limits the the amount of people that we that as a country that we could sustain um, because of that, especially if it's from economic um, um, uh, um, economic asylum seekers or whatever, right? Um, right. So now another problem is that, and this is an inevitable thing, is they go well. Um, then the illegal immigrants they come here, they work hard, which I'm not disagreeing with, um, but then. If we deported them, um, or not if we deported, if we if we somehow an effect an effect stopped the um, immigration from occurring, um, but I, I guess it would like have a negative impact on our economy. Well, you can't have it both ways, right? You can't have it where we're benefiting off the illegal immigrants. Um, 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 I guess being um, not working. But then, like, they're essentially undocumented, so they're not paying their fair share in taxes, and they're more likely to commit crimes based off being scared or not more likely to commit crimes. They're more likely to run underneath the radar, which is just not a very good thing for anybody, right? Like, for, for anybody, like, to be, um, like, you know, the fear of, the fear of ratting out um, somebody for a crime because they're more likely to be deported wouldn't occur if everybody was here legally, right? Now... There has to be a pathway to citizenship for people who have um, an immediate family member that's a citizen, right? Like this isn't inevitable. Like in other words, you have to stop the anchor baby policy, but you should not retrospect um, in, in I, I guess uh, retroactively um, take that right away from the people that are already U.S. citizens. That's obviously something that I would never propose. Um, but the anchor baby thing has to happen right away. So then you could then focus on the people that have had children here for X amount of years that are US citizens that are illegal because they should have a pathway to citizen, uh, citizenship so that we all live as equal people in a country, one person, one citizen, not this illegal um, cloud over the United States, but you know, anywhere between Estimations are between, I don't know, 20 and 30, 40, who knows, right? They're estimations, somebody knows the exact amount, right? So that's the, that's the first thing that has to happen. There has to be a pathway to citizenship for people who have family, um, family members um, incentivized. Half, having said after all that, right? We don't gonna have people go around, go around, um, you know, cutting off, um, um, cutting off, um, going around rounding people up and deporting them it's expensive it's dangerous and it's inhumane right and it's going to cause civil unrest but companies that hire illegally need to be severely punished severely punished because they're benefiting off a form of slave labor right they don't have to pay them they don't have to in other words they're not adhering to our uh, legal labor laws and the legal labor laws that we have in this country which you can't employ people under a certain age for a certain amount of hours. You have to have a certain type of insurance, et cetera, et cetera, were designed so that we didn't have forced work slave, uh, you know, a form of slavery, which is work slave, uh, slavery. You know what I mean? Which 
you look back on it, it's very inhumane. So that's, they need to be severely punished. And then secondarily, there should be zero, zero um, uh, forms of welfare or forms of surface, uh, social services that should be granted to illegal immigrants. That includes school. That includes school. Like, and I'm not saying for not the U.S. citizens, and I'm not talking about the people that are attached um, to um, a family member, right? Like, that's what I already established that they should have a pathway to citizenship, right? But if you come here illegally and you bring over a, a young child from another country, the United States government that needs to take care of its own people should not then pay for your child's education, right? But of course, we don't want a society where children are unallowed to go to school, then it would incentivize people not to come, right? Um, obviously, I would say the only type of civil service um, that should be, um, would be allowed in any case, would be that ethically and morally, as in, as in hospitals goes, if somebody's dying of an illness, we have to take care of them. We don't let people die in the streets, our country has advanced as, as much. But certain things, obviously, I mean, school education, to me, is the most obvious one because the other secondary ones aren't largely given, like um, you know welfare, housing, and there in some cases they are given. Like specific states have different laws. Um, I don't need to get into whole uh, sanctuary sh city laws because, I mean, um, at the same time, um, the same people that they want uh, centralized governments, they they are uh, it's it's a controversial issue. But I don't think that states should have sovereign rights to impede with 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 national immigration laws. It's just a very sticky situation. Um, now, here's the other thing, right? And this is the, and, and, and I do want to touch the, the, the issue on the, on the other end, right? They go, um, but a lot of people, they believe that our culture, if it progresses in some way, will be less, um, it, there'll be more minorities, for example, right? Now, if we, if, if we, and and for, and for that and here's my thing right if we use reasonable um vetting techniques to allow immigration to come in and people based on merit need and just natural progress progression as a society um if over time that occurs right in other words the united states becomes less white or more um um i guess um ethnically diverse then if you really aren't racist and you really believe in the American values and we're properly vetting them, it shouldn't bother you. It should not bother you. You should not fear that the United States is becoming less white. That's where true um, anti-immigration anti people and racists occur where America is becoming less white, Americans becoming less this. But I have to say to the other thing, on the other end, um, there are groups, believe it or not, um, I speak some, a little bit of Spanish. Um, Jorge Ramos, uh, part of La, La Raza. Their goal is to ethnically make America Hispanic. Now, how is that not racist? How is that not racist? Like, it, it, there are, they are as focused on, on, on racially, um, um, I, I guess, racially I'm trying to look for the word um, I guess designing or, or, or artificially constructing right I, I could say altering the race based on their goals which is a form of like eugenics on the other you know what I'm saying it's just like why give a fuck about that it should be a natural progression if it occurs it occurs it does, there should be no laws one way or the other they're both inhumane and immoral but it's just, just like simple things like these are simple things and i don't know why nobody ever talks about these issues right and the left all, always shuts down anything on the right when you talk about these issues because they immediately assume if i say well i'm not a big fan of the I go, the wall to me is like whatever um it's um like i said i don't know if it's financially advantageous um if you can prove it one way or the other it's whatever and they go well, they don't even have that discussion because the wall's racist. If something's racist and it's wrong, then how could you argue it, right? 
like the KKK is racist, right? They they are they stand for um, they stand for um, everything that, that that I don't stand for as far as morals, values, um, whatever. So you can't argue for it because it's racist, right? Like when you make statements like that, when you say the the police are racist, right? Like I'm I'm not saying that that a lot of people say this. I'm saying like if you say like the police are racist. They're they're they they're they're, they're clan members in in robes or they're clan members in blue, right? Then there's no compromise. There's there's no there's no um, there's no um, advancement of dialogue. There's no solutions because you want to get rid of that. You want to get like you, you, like you know what I'm saying? Like like it, they're straw man arguments, right? So again, to summarize this video, I think of immig immigration is part of what makes what what what, what ben i've been my family benefited from immigration coming to the united states they came here legally um i think we should continue to, to have immigration from all around the world but i do believe that the anchor baby policy um which it shouldn't be offensive like how is it offensive like they're knowingly you're knowingly doing it so why do people go oh they're not the it's 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 d, it's d it's uh, dehumanizing them. It's right. It's what dehumanizing. It's whatever. Yeah, the child doesn't have a choice to come over to here, right? But the parents who had sex and didn't have a didn't use protection and then birthed upon a child had that choice, right? Whether it was a, on purpose or a mistake, right? So there is a motive involved for that type of behavior, whether it's moral or not immoral. It's irrelevant, but but it, there's a motive, right? It, it's it, it's it's you know morality doesn't always um, um, doesn't always I guess um, translate to reality, right? Um, in a perfect world, we could have open borders, um, open fences, build bridges, not walls, like do all that shit. I get it, but this is not a perfect world, and there has to be some type of organization because if we had no infrastructure, no country, it would be there would be no America, right? And, and, and the American values, right? The American values, and I could just say, do a whole video on these things, which I'll go more into a de in, in detail, have nothing to do with race. They have to do with common goals that we have in a greater society. And that's what we need to focus on rather than assuming on one end that everything against your agenda is racist. And at the other end, assuming that if it ain't white, it ain't right. And I'm gonna be honest again, that a lot more people I see a very small amount of people that are considered white nationalists, right? I mean, why the fuck does everybody know the name of uh, Richard Spencer, that, that the, the guy, the Nazi or whatever the fuck he is, right? He's a nothing. He's a nobody. He has a, fair, a fraction of like Twitter followers opposed to somebody like, I don't know, Linda Sassor. I don't know. There's just a random people I'm saying. So they have a much of less. Of, they're in much smaller amounts. Jorge Ramos, for example, right? Jorge Ramos. Um, that's what I have to, you know, that's kind of like my ramp. So again, the solution is that it's a two part solution. It is that the anchor baby policy, the Audrey's policy has to end and that there has to be a pathway of citizens for the people that have a family member that are attached to, that are already U.S. citizens, immediate family members, right? Immediate family members. Um, that means if, if I'm an illegal immigrant, um, my wife's a legal immigrant and there had an older brother who's an illegal immigrant and the younger kid's a citizen, that there has to be a pathway for all the brothers and sisters of that family. We cannot separate immediately families. We cannot separate immediate families. It cannot happen. It will not happen. Um, then you have to cut off the all social services for people who are illegal. Then there would be a, 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 a much larger uh, deportate. Um, people would self-deport. People would self-deport. Needless to say, if you commit a felony and you're an illegal immigrant, why the fuck aren't you already deported? That's like a, 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 that's like a given. In any other country, that most likely happens. That it happens. Canada, maybe Canada aside, but I don't see that many people seeking asylum in Canada. They seek more asylum to America. And a large factor, a large factor is, is that because these companies that aren't being punished enough are hiring people illegally under the table because they don't have to pay the amount of. Um, uh, wages and then have to pay pay the amount of uh, protection to protect these people in which a society that we have had laws and ex whatever insurance as i meant this term i was looking for but anyways um 
thanks for listening for this video. I hope I didn't offend too many people. I'm like, re I really find my, my views reasonable and logical. Um, you guys could disagree with me, but it doesn't come from a place of hatred. Um, it just comes from a place that, that living life and I have some solutions for some of these problems that nobody talks about. You know, every, everybody's polarized on talking points, but I find I, I, I think a little more deeper into these issues to kind of have a relevant view. So hopefully this starts a conversation and makes people think differently. Um, so please like and subscribe and share this video and continue to support my channel. Thank you.